Hey there, fellas. Today's actually a pretty good day. It's super cold outside, so we've made our way to this here garage, where it's at least quite warm. We've parked all of our cars inside. As you can see, there's a red three-door Samara parked behind me. It's gone through a bunch of experiments, and the thing just doesn't want to die. I can't get over how amazing Russian cars can be sometimes. But that's not the point. The last experiment we conducted using this car... Recently, we've been contacted plenty of times with people sending me personal messages with this picture, requesting to finally build the tank. Remember this thing? I'd actually like to extend a big thanks to all of you guys for your determination. Anyway... Here we have yet another car of the same make and model. The main difference here is in the color. Plus, this one is a different model year, and it's in much worse condition. It rolled in here without a motor or a gearbox, among other things. Then again, we won't be needing any of that just yet, so here's the plan. I'm guessing you get the picture. We'll be chopping both of these cars in half and welding their rear ends together, resulting in that thing I was all hyped up about. I don't quite know what to name it, either a tank ass or an ass tank. You guys can call it whatever you like. Anyway, so we're pretty much ready to dive in. We would prefer for this thing to be able to move under its own power and not just stand around, but we'll be figuring that out later down the line. Anyway, enough talk. Let's do this. Creating the ass tank. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian.
All right, fellas, we have done quite well here. We are looking pretty good. As you can see, these two... These two what now? I don't know. Asses, half-asses, I'll let you guys decide. Anyway, we were able to get them welded together, so it's all good. I'd like to point out straight away that from a geometrical point of view, that picture which you guys constantly kept sending... In personal messages and posts on our VK page, turns out it isn't all that simple. The rear windows have a little taper to them. As for this here rib, it does seem to go evenly around the entire car. In any case, fellas, the geometry of this car is quite interesting indeed. I mean, the roof. When you look at this car, it does seem as if the roof is level. But it does have an elliptical form to it, just like these rear windows taper from front to back. Anyway, we use this rib as our reference point. And as a result, the roof is slightly bulging while the window line is broken a bit. I carefully studied that picture, and it was pretty much the same story there. It was all... I can't say that it was particularly easy to do. I mean, if you were to sit around on your couch and discuss whatever's going on, you know what? Get off your ass, make your way over to a garage, and do something like this yourself. You're definitely not going to be successful on your first try. And as for us, well, since we have been doing this stuff for years now, it's our first time doing this sort of thing specifically, but we're getting there. Anyway, we've put it together, and it's all looking pretty good. We're obviously going to be reinforcing everything. The point of that being, we'll be giving this thing a paint job, smoothening everything out and making it look good. We're also looking into... We might install a few motors in here at some point. And we're not talking gasoline engines, since those would be quite a challenge to fit in here. We're going to be installing some electric motors. I'm guessing that in order to make the thing move, and for it to be able to turn, it's just that we won't be able to make them run two driven wheels at a time. I mean, the wheels are locked in one position, and propelling four corners which won't turn is going to be a problem. In any case, it is possible to make this car move under its own power. But in order for it to be able to maneuver, you get the picture. We got two axles where the wheels won't turn, so steering is going to be difficult to sort out. But I reckon it is worth giving a shot. Anyway, I suggest we call it a day. We were successfully able to weld this car together, and next time you're gonna see the finished result, with paint and everything, with all the panels smoothened out and looking pretty fine. We'll get some window tint happening, just like on that picture. It's obviously going to be painted in a uniform color. I don't quite know whether it'll be red, green, orange, or maybe even yellow. We'll figure that out together with you guys. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Leave some comments and suggestions, subscribe to our channel. Alright, see you later, fellas.